Hi guys, welcome to Urban Rock. Today I'm with Lewis Merrin and Neil Brown. We're going to explore an abandoned pub. This has been used as a cannabis grow as well. I'm not too sure when this place closed. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. Hit the thumbs up button. Leave a comment below as well what you think of this abandoned pub. And let's get on with this explore. Right guys, here's the bar area. Should we straight in? That would have been the main door. But there is a lot of cannabis stuff here. Well, cannabis grow stuff. Seems to be everywhere. Would have been a big operation in here. But I like all the old little pub bits, what's still left behind. There's a lot of old little uh, bits and pieces left. And you've still got all the cup, all the uh, glasses, there's still unopened bottles. Lovely fireplace here. So behind the bar. Could be careful because the floor, I can see it sagging down here. Could be careful where I tread. There's still a lot of uh, tomato juice. All unopened. Lots of glasses still here. Soul ice bucket. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of those still there. They look brand new. I don't think I'm going to be able to get across. This floor is very soft. I'll get across this bit. Just walk along the joist. Well, there's a Friday ad down there. They have a free catalogue magazine. Oh, I haven't done those for a few years. And there's your dinner plates for the pub mills. Nice big square plates. There's a few little bits and pieces still here. Try and get across there in a minute, see if Lewis falls through the floor. Oh, fine. <laughs> I like the old. They're not working. Absolutely nothing. Oh. No, it's just air coming through. Yeah, it's just air. You see why in a minute. This floor is very soft. <laughs> just the joists and the carpet left. But yeah, look at all these. So it must have been quite a big operation. Another brick fireplace, which I've uh, sealed up. Obviously I didn't want the smell from the cannabis coming out the chimney pot to alert the people next door. Thing is, they, they always leave loads of stuff behind me. I mean, I'm no expert, but I'm sure that would still work, and I'm sure that would cost a fair amount of money. As you can see, and there's loads of them all around. Ah, oh, let's turn over. Is that gents? Nothing exciting. But yeah, this obviously would have been the restaurant area. Good pub mills. Little glasses everywhere. Try and head on upstairs in a second. It's not a very big pub. It's only, it's only a little countryside pub. 
a lot of it so it's been been destroyed by people growing the cannabis which is a shame because a bed would have been really nice in here for all the exposed beams nice open fireplace going Still got a pub ashtray in here. Mm. Thing is, that's what killed a lot of the pubs was the smoking ban. Believe it or not, a lot of a lot of pubs went downhill after the smoking ban when people couldn't enjoy a cigarette with their beer. I'm not going to bother opening up the, uh, the fridge. It's a nice old picture. Look at the state of that, what they were cooking their food on. I've seen worse though, to be fair. <laughs> so I like little bits like this in the pubs with us. She brings a bit of character to them. This would have been where all the beers were stored. All your beer pumps attached to the wall. Yeah, all this, all this is the dumping part from when they bought their cannabis growing equipment. All the boxes for their um, converters and lights and everything. Someone's done a number on the safe, see if there's anything in there. Mm -hmm. And this would have been the living quarters for the landlord. I'm surprised I haven't grown cannabis up here to be honest. Looks like they've only done it downstairs. And this is your... Uh, guess this is where best they slept while they're growing the cannabis. The uh, gardener, so to speak. Strange shit, it's very narrow to get through there. It's been cut yeah. or bypassed. I'm not going to give the location away, it's just that you know, I don't think it's been really done yet, but you never know. That's quite big up here, wasn't expecting another floor. One of these were left from downstairs. 
probably were to be fair. And somebody's been uh, looks like squatting in here. The people who must have been squatting in here must have been February or March this year. Yeah. And they must have been religious because there's loads of like Mormon books and religious like quotes and there's like a picture of the Last Supper of Jesus. Hmm. Yeah, there was a lot of uh, religious stuff here. I'm not very good with religion to be fair. What's this? Date on that. March 23rd. So that's like a little shrine there. Prayer of St. Richard of Chichester. Hmm. Probably where the other people slept. Yeah, there's a lot of these bottles. I think they must have come from downstairs. Swap shifts. No idea what that is. Was it to water the plants? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, guys, that brings an end to the explore. Hope you enjoyed it. It's only a quick little little place no, if you're new to my channel don't forget to subscribe as well and give the video a thumbs up give the other guys a follow on youtube as well and i'll see you guys again soon on another explore see you later